Methane is the second most important anthropogenic greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide. It currently accounts for about a quarter of the global warming. Even though it is found in much smaller amounts in the atmosphere, it is more than 80 times stronger than CO2 when it comes to trapping heat in a 20-year period. Methane comes from a variety of sources. These include natural ones such as wetlands, but most of it comes from anthropogenic sources. These include fossil fuel use and production, landfill sites, agriculture and biomass burning. High accuracy satellites such as Tropomi from the European Space Agency are a great way to monitor emissions and detect hotspots for very large sources around the world. With these high accuracy global satellite observations we can now improve our estimates of how much methane there is and where. But we now have a range of satellites with very high spatial resolution that go down to a few meters on the ground and this can be really useful to zoom in and find those small point sources that are characteristic from the fossil fuel emissions. The interesting thing about methane is that it has a much shorter lifetime in the atmosphere compared to CO2. It's about 10 years. So this means that if we can reduce methane now, this can have a great impact in the short term to limit global warming. It is clear that challenging times lie ahead and satellites have a really important role to play in reducing global greenhouse gas emissions. At COP26, more than 100 countries committed to reducing methane emissions by 30% by 2030.